All right, I'm going to spit some real truth to you about investment. Uh, again, this is just my personal experience. I'm not an expert. And until probably three years ago, I had really no interest. I just put money in my 401k. It's managed by something called Hancock Foundation. And that's basically the extent of my investment knowledge is I put it in my law firm has a investment fund and I just have money and sitting in that fund and it goes up in price. So somebody manages that fund for us. Now, investment advice here, you know, I decided, you know, Rudy was pumping up MetaZoo a ton. He was pumping up all the card games and so on, but especially MetaZoo. At that time, I decided, hey, I'm not going to really buy. I bought a ton of Inuyasha stuff, a ton of Meta X, which is a DC property by Panini. I bought a ton of cards that I really didn't need, including sealed magic product that I greatly regret. But after that whole FOMO was over, because Rudy really got me FOMOing, right? Uh, about sealed magic product going to the moon, which turned out to be the exact opposite. They're absolute garbage right now. But even MetaZoo, MetaZoo is the clearest example because the company is not doing well. I don't want to pick on MetaZoo more than I have to, but it's a clear example of FOMO. It's a clear example of a game that was too hyped. You know, the game cost, what, $40 a booster box? Like, imagine the second set of Pokemon, which is Jungle. Imagine going to your local game store, Radio Shack, where I used to buy Jungle. And instead of having $4 a pack, which the first edition was originally, um, you're paying $40 a pack. How can a kid afford 40? I know inflation's been pretty tough. I think actually Pokemon packs probably like three dollars, two ninety nine for first edition jungle and first edition base at the time. But imagine paying 10, 15 times forty five dollars a booster pack. That's what Alpha Investment was doing with Meta Zoo Nightfall set, uh, first edition, which is the second set. What I learned from investing in stocks, it is very rare for you to see more than a two percent increase every day in any individual stock, but even more in if you have a mutual fund or the S&P 500, or you have a diverse uh, portfolio, it is very rare for your portfolio to go up 2% and a day. It also is very rare for your portfolio to fall 2% a day. Now, sometimes it happens. I've obviously seen it happen in the last uh, three years, but it's very rare for that to happen. And typically when it goes up a lot, then it kind of goes down a little bit and it stabilizes to about where it used to be. That's my um, explanation of stocks. Um, again, was I in the market for a very long time? No, I mean, I basically just had prior to MetaZoo, um, I had put all my money into my 401k that my previous law firm is still funding. I mean, every so often I had to figure out the password to log in and see how much money is in it. But that's the retirement plan, right? So I decided, hey, you know, I spent a shit ton of money on cards anyway, I, and I have a card shop. Maybe I should take all this money in my card shop and just kind of put it in here into the stocks and uh, see, see what I do, see what can happen. And uh, it went really, really well. Like there were ups and downs, but the one thing I can tell you that an investment is it's not something that 20 X's or 25,000 percent increase a day. Okay, an investment like it barely goes up or down. Every, if you look at from day to day, over the long period, it goes slightly up. Hopefully, that's what you're hoping, right? But it's not like MetaZoo, right? MetaZoo, you got Nightfall First Edition, you got one booster bundle selling for eight hundred twenty dollars. Then you have five booster bundles package selling for what? $8,200, like if you guys can do the math, that means that the more you buy, the more you pay to the point that you are paying double, right? For you to pay $8,200 for one booster box, at $8,200, you expect to get 10 booster boxes. But in the alpha investment reality, you only get five booster boxes because there's so much demand. That's never happened to any stock that I know of and I can't imagine a scenario where Apple, let's say Apple costs $82 a share. You want to buy one share, it's $82. Fair enough. If you want to buy, well, I guess $820. Let's just, just do the alpha investment math. 
let's say that you want to buy one share of Apple at eight hundred and twenty dollars. How much would you think that you would want to buy? How much would you think that five shares of Apple would be worth? Well, you would times the eight twenty by five, right? And then you would get like four thousand one hundred. But in Rudy Math, the five shares of Apple are now worth eight thousand two hundred. That's how you know it's not a mother effing investment because an investment has never looked like that in the history of investments, of legitimate investments. That's mother effing FOMO when you're willing to pay double or triple or quadruple the price of something just so you can get some more of it. That's mother effing FOMO, guys. I mean, this is. No, I, I hate to delete slides because I'm lazy as F, right? But I might have to delete a slide and show you the FOMO on this. But I've, sh I've shown you enough, right? I mean, these are his nightfall things. I have so much proof that this actually happened. And he actually admitted that three people did buy the $8,200 package. Two of them were buying it as an investment. Hmm. So anyway... Um, yeah, like when, when things are, when somebody is promising you a 20x return overnight, that's not money or anything about it. It's a scam, guys. It's a scam. I don't know, I don't know what stock can go 20x in price overnight, man. The, I, I know damn sure no ExxonMobil, no Tesla can go 20x. Look, if a stock went 100%, people would probably have to investigate what the hell is going on with this stock. If stock went 50%, like, can you imagine ExxonMobil, like, tomorrow morning going up or down 20%? That would be huge news, right? That would be huge news. Maybe we would be in a war or we ran out of gas or something, something weird happened. Maybe there's an oil spill. Um, but could you imagine ExxonMobil being, let's say it's $100 a share. Now, or, yeah, $100 a share. Now, now ExxonMobil is worth $2,000 a share in one day. No, that that an investment. So after after having done this investment thing with Jake for three years and learning about it, my girlfriend watches a lot of YouTube videos, but she's really bad at investing. She's awful at investing. So I keep my money. I mean, I went to go. Well, she's so gonna take your money. No, man, we're not married. <laughs> like guys, you don't need to worry. We have we have a kid on the way. Uh, her name is Farina. We named it after our get our my favorite Genshin Impact character. Uh, she actually doesn't even have a Farina, of all things, right? Um, and things are going really well in that relationship. And you don't have to worry about my money. I have infinite money. I could have, I could, this is just play money, guys. Just play money. Uh, it's my gambling money. <laughs> Otherwise, what have I lost in gambling? And um, what I have learned is this is investment thing it takes a shit ton of time. It could take a decade to double, like, Hopefully not a decade to double my money, but like it could take a decade to see real gains. Ain't no none of my stocks. I have Alibaba. I got some like very volatile stocks in my portfolio. I have that mother effing Kathy Wood, what whatever Kathy Wood has invested in. That thing goes has lost a shit ton of money, but that thing doesn't lose twenty x overnight, right? It doesn't go from a hundred dollars to five dollars overnight. That's some fucking meta zoo. The only thing I've seen gone from a hundred. That's why it's not an investment, guys. Investments don't go from five dollars to five thousand dollars, and go from five thousand dollars to five dollars. No, it doesn't. The percentages are not like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. My <laughs> guys, obviously some of the numbers are exaggerated for MetaZoo, slightly. <laughs>